Hi, I'm Nikki. I teach others about backyard chicken keeping. Welcome to my channel, Purely Chickens. Today we're talking about how to keep your eggs clean inside the coop and how to wash and store them properly in your house. The best way to find clean eggs inside your coop is to keep the coop clean. We want to have really clean nest boxes and you want to make sure that your bedding is always clean and whatever substrate you use in your run is clean as well. We like to use sand in our run because it's easy to clean. We just use like a sifting shovel, but it also helps keep the chickens feet clean as well. It's kind of like a mini pedicure as they walk through the sand. And then our coop stays pretty clean as well because we use something that we call the shit shelf. It collects the poop from the night and the chickens um, don't really walk in it during the day. Um, the only time they're in there is to go lay an egg and then they go out for food and water. So the bedding on the floor stays really clean as well. A dry run is going to stay cleaner than a wet run. So a roof over top is key in my opinion, especially if you're just starting out and you wanna make sure that you're doing things right. Make sure you plan to put a roof on your run because it's going to keep the rain and the weather and the elements out and it's going to keep your ground nice and dry. That way they're not going to get muddy, wet feet and then hop inside the nest box to lay an egg and then get the dirt from their feet all over the eggs. Clean nest boxes is key. So first things first, don't let the chickens sleep in the nest boxes. The reason you don't want them sleeping inside the nest box is because chickens poop all night long. And if they poop in the nest box, it's gonna be dirty the next morning when the chickens are trying to lay eggs in there. If your nest boxes are lower than your roosting bars, chances are chickens are gonna to try to go to the nest boxes to sleep because they like to go to the highest place. So make sure you're mounting your nest boxes down low. And sometimes you just get that chicken or the younger chickens who don't find a place on the roost and end up sleeping in the nest boxes. So if you have that problem, go ahead and cover it at night. And then this does take a little bit of effort, but if you do it for about a week or so, cover it each night, make sure no one's sleeping in there. They get into the habit of sleeping back on the roosting bars. Sometimes you have to lift them up and put them on the roost, but um, whatever you do, don't let them sleep in the nest boxes. The bedding that we use inside the coop is Eaton Pet and Pasture hemp bedding. I love this stuff. It's super absorbent. It keeps things really clean. We also love their, <laughs> we also love their nest pads uh, and those keep the nest boxes clean as well. But if you need to like remove them, they come out really easily. We're actually out right now. We're waiting for our next shipment but we love them and we love the bedding as well. You can find a discount code down below if you wanna try eating pet and pasture. Believe me, you wanna try it. We love it, it's amazing. All right, and one last tip I have for you to keep the eggs clean is to buy roll away nest boxes. If you can't afford it right away, just think about saving up for them because the eggs literally roll away from the chickens. They can't break them open. They can't step on one on accident and crack it inside the nest box, making a big dirty mess and it just helps to keep them as clean as possible. All right, we're back inside. We're gonna get these eggs clean and stored and I'll show you my process. But one thing you wanna keep in mind is that if you see a crack in the egg when you collect it, it's probably best practice to throw that egg out because once there's a crack in the shell, it will let bacteria in. If it hasn't been washed yet, then that could be a problem for you eating your eggs. Now, even with all those tips I gave you outside at the coop to keep your eggs clean, I still do get dirty eggs sometimes. The nice thing about an egg is that it has a bloom on it. What does that mean if you're new to chicken keeping? Chickens put a coating on the egg before they lay it. That coating's purpose is to keep the egg germ free. And just in case that egg is gonna be hatched out by a hen, um, they want to make sure that no germs are getting in and compromising that egg. But the good thing about it is if you're consuming the eggs, the bloom is also gonna keep out the bacteria for you as well. Now I live in the US, in other countries, they do keep the bloom on the egg and store them on the shelves at the stores. Here in the United States, the bloom is washed off, the egg is disinfected and it's put into the fridge for us to buy at the grocery store. So it is kind of odd for us here when you first get started with backyard chicken keeping to store eggs on the countertop. But if you collect an egg from your chicken and it looks super clean like this and there's nothing on it, uh, and it's intact and it hasn't gotten wet or it hasn't gotten really cold and then condensation is formed on it, then the bloom is intact. As long as it's dry, the bloom is gonna keep it germ-free and you can store this on the kitchen counter. Now, if you store an egg on the counter that's been unwashed and it's clean, then that egg is gonna last a few weeks on the countertop. I cannot give you an exact date of when that egg is gonna go bad because there's so many different variables um, in that, but just know that on the counter, unwashed, it's a few weeks. 
Another way to store eggs is in the refrigerator. So if you're collecting dirty eggs from your coop um, and you wanna wash them right away, or let's say they did get cold or there is some condensation on them or they did get wet somehow and you wanna wash them, after they've been washed, you can put those eggs in the refrigerator and they'll last you six weeks, eight weeks or so. I have two young boys at home and things on the counter don't always stay in one piece. So I know that if I store eggs on the counter, they're probably gonna get a ball thrown at them or knocked over when my kid is climbing the cabinet to get their favorite snack. I'm also kind of disorganized. So I know if I have eggs on the countertop, um, I will forget to plan meals around them and they'll go bad faster than, you know, we actually end up using them. And most of our eggs get sold to family and friends. So I choose to store my eggs in the refrigerator, but you don't have to do it that way. Just whatever works best for your family, know the rules around all the things. I get a lot of comments on my stuff from people who um, see that I sometimes put unwashed eggs in the refrigerator and they freak out and they're like, unwashed eggs have to stay on the counter. That is not the case. They can go on the counter if that's the most convenient way for you and your family to use eggs, but it's not the most convenient for me. And I just put them in the fridge because I know they're going to last longer and I don't have to worry about if they're going to go bad on the countertop. Unwashed eggs on the counter will last a few weeks. Eggs in the refrigerator that have been washed will last a month or so. Eggs that are unwashed and stored in the refrigerator last a little bit longer than both of those. My eggs in my fridge have lasted five months or so sometimes. If you're going to go with the countertop method, make sure that you're storing your eggs on the counter so you know which eggs are the oldest and you use those ones first. A lot of people will use the spiral egg holders and the purpose of those is so that you take the egg from the bottom, which is the oldest, and add the newest eggs to the top and they kind of spiral down as time goes on. This is the egg storage container that I use in my refrigerator and I actually do it a little bit different. I have a lot of chickens, so I can fill up this entire bottom shelf in about a day or two and then I will start filling up the shelf on top. So I know to always take from the bottom and when the bottom is empty, I swap them and put the empty one on top. And then as far as storing uh, cartons for people that are going to buy them, I just make sure that I mark the date on when I put them in the refrigerator so I give people the oldest ones first. Now I've not found this information anywhere else, but this is just how I think about it in my brain. If I have a chicken egg that I've collected that is, you know, pretty clean with a few smudge marks on it, I usually don't wash that because I know it'll last longer if I don't. But if I collect an egg that's extremely dirty, I tend to feed those back to the chickens, but I also want to make sure that if I am going to store them, that I wash them right away because in my head, that dirtiness, whether it's mud or chicken droppings, is wet when it's applied to the egg and that's going to disrupt the bloom. So I just want to make sure I'm going to clean it right away. I know a lot of people will eat those and everybody, for the most part, does just fine. The number one rule though when you are dealing with chicken eggs is you have to wash them before you use them. So whether you wash them before you put them in the refrigerator or you wash them right before you use them, it's best practice to make sure that they are clean before you are cracking them. Most people don't get sick from eating raw cookie dough because the salmonella and all the germs aren't on the inside of the egg, they're on the outside. And when you buy store-bought eggs, those have been washed and disinfected. So there's no germs on the outside when you're bringing them home from the grocery store, but your chicken eggs that are in your backyard may have germs on them and you wanna make sure that you're washing that off before you're using them for your baking or cooking or things like that. Oh, and one more quick tip about storing eggs. You wanna store them tip down if possible. I store mine on the side because I know we're gonna use them fast enough. But if you're gonna store yours in a carton and you're gonna leave them in the fridge for a long time, put them tip down. The theory here is that the air sac in the egg will float to the top, pushing the yolk closer to the center and keep them fresher longer. There's lots of ways to wash your chicken eggs and I'm just gonna share with you what works for us. The first thing I want to say about washing chicken eggs is that you want to make sure that the water is warmer than the egg itself. Using hot water not only helps with removing of germs, but it also keeps the egg from pooling bacteria in through its pores. If you're using cold water, it tends to push the bacteria in. If you're using warm water, it helps to keep it out. The two ways I'm going to suggest here both work just fine. Um, you can pick whatever works for you, whatever you like to use in your home, whatever you have on hand. Uh, the first way, which is the way I prefer, is to use a mild, fragrance-free, non-toxic, all-natural dish soap. And I do this just because it's easy and it's what I already have on my counter. Um, you can also use you know, a medium-sized bowl of water and about a fourth of a cup of white distilled vinegar, and that can clean your eggs as well. 
I like to use this little egg scrubber. You can find these anywhere. I'll link one down below, but basically it just is a really gentle way to scrub off any imperfections that might be on your eggs or any smudges from the chickens, dirt or feathers or things that get stuck on there come off really easily as well and it never cracks the eggs. So this is what I use. And I just squirt a little bit of the soap on here and get it wet and scrub the egg and then run it under warm water. It's pretty simple. Um, there's no, you know, there's no tricks to it. You just have to, you know, get into a method that you like. Now, after I've washed them, I like to put them on a paper towel to dry. You can wash them off with the dry cloth as well, um, if that's what you want to do. But I always make sure that they're dry before I put them into the carton and then into the fridge because I don't want the water sitting in there with the egg. I hope you found all that helpful. The link to grab my book is down below, as well as all of the stuff I talked about today in this video. And I hope you subscribe, like, and share this video. And don't forget to follow me on TikTok and Instagram as well. Hope you guys have a wonderful day.